In the past year, thousands of moms, dads, brothers, sisters, and friends have had their lives torn apart by dangerous people with guns. Since the mass shooting in Newtown, Connecticut, there have been at least 36 more school shootings. And in the past year, there have been at least 26 mass shootings where four or more people were murdered. These horrific events continue to happen in places where we should feel safest. But these high-profile incidents only represent a tiny fraction of the 12,000 Americans murdered with guns every year. No one should have to live in fear of gun violence. And in the year ahead, you can help us do something about it. Hi, I'm Mark Glaze, Executive Director of Mayors Against Illegal Guns. And I'm Shannon Watts, founder of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Right now, President Obama is preparing to give his 2014 State of the Union Address, and we wanted to spend a few minutes talking with you about the state of the gun violence prevention movement. Last year, the president declared that passing common sense gun laws would be a top priority for his administration, despite the support of 90% of the public, 82% of gun owners, and a majority of the United States Senate, Congress still failed to pass a bill that would have guaranteed background checks for many more gun sales and would have saved a lot of lives. But that's the bad news. The good news is that we're not going to wait for an obstructive minority in Congress to catch up with the overwhelming majority of Americans. We've continued to fight this battle at the federal, state, and local levels, and we've racked up many wins against the gun lobby. Since last year's State of the Union, President Obama has signed 25 executive actions that do things like make it easier to enforce the gun laws we already have on the books and strengthen our criminal background check system. And even more importantly, at the same time, we've seen really important state-level legislative victories in states like Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, New York, New Jersey, Mississippi, and South Carolina. Now, the gun lobby is already trying to roll back the progress we made, as we knew they would. The place where they're trying the hardest is in Colorado, where we put together a state-of-the-art background check bill that makes sure that everybody who buys a gun gets a simple background check that takes a couple minutes. In Colorado alone, since that law has been there, more than 100 people who are too dangerous to own guns have been stopped who would have gotten guns before the law went into effect. And as people in Colorado know, it only takes one to devastate a city, a community, and an entire nation. We've also had an unprecedented groundswell of support. More than 1.5 million grassroots supporters like you are helping us do that work in ways small and large. And our No More Names bus tour took the message of common sense gun laws that respect the rights of law-abiding gun owners, but do much more to keep guns out of the wrong hands to 26 states around the country. In the past year, I've seen exactly how powerful ordinary Americans can be. Like you, I was devastated after the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary. I created a Facebook page for like-minded moms to talk about gun violence prevention. Within just one year, we've grown into one of the largest leading grassroots organizations in the country with a chapter in every single state. And we've won some major battles. For example, last year, moms asked Starbucks to get some gun sense. Within months, Starbucks said that guns were no longer welcome in their stores. And we've continued to put pressure on other companies and retailers ever since. Just last month, Mayors Against Illegal Guns and Moms to Band Action formally joined forces. We're going to bring our combined strength together to expand the fight for common sense gun laws on all fronts. We're growing our local organizing efforts in all 50 states. We'll keep pushing for common sense gun laws in Congress. We want them to know that this fight isn't over. It's just beginning. If you haven't already, find us at demandaction.org or Moms Demand Action on Facebook. And if you're already working with us, please share this video with your friends and your family, the people you work with, and ask them to join our movement to end gun violence in America. Thanks for watching. We look forward to working with you this year.